Ah, stop! Hey, it's me! Luke! Yes. Man, bit the hell out of me. I think you drew blood. I was worried. We all were. Oh, it's good to see you too, kid. All right, listen, we ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. And, well, that's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere, okay? They got guards watching everything. Shh, shh. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. Yeah, I heard folks talking about that, but it ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming, and it's gonna be soon. I have to go. Troy will be looking for me. Uh, what? Troy, he's expecting me back. Oh, oh, yeah, right, right. Okay, just, just one second. We just, we just need a plan. There's no way to get you and... And everyone. Luke! Oh, sorry, sorry, shit. Okay, Troy ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem, I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Because I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just, just one of those walkie-talkies. I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're, they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. I I'll get you one. Thanks, Clem. I'm so glad I can count on you. Remember, you meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, Clementine, uh... get out where I can see you. Go on, get out of here. The hell were you doing? Nothing. I wasn't doing anything. Bill Radio wants a word with you up in his office. So get on up there, now! Dude, you better go up and see Bill. He doesn't like to wait. So, you should probably go. Rebecca! She's a strong woman, surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Now get in here. Alvin? Alvin! He passed out hours ago. You're a bully. Come again. You're just a bully. I know it wasn't a fair fight. Yeah, I suppose it wasn't, but life ain't fair most of the time. I wouldn't be so concerned about his well-being if I were you. Not with you being so close to the fire yourself. Now. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are. And you won't end up over in that chair. Now, you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will. And weak of character. You're a murderer. You can try and call it something else. But I know what it is. What it really is. Listen, Clementine. It ain't murder. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. You understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. Bill, you there? Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Troy really knocked the shit out of him. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. 
I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. As we all know what happened this morning, I don't know what that son of a bitch is gonna do next. So you wanna ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Cause this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just gotta figure out a way to draw them to us. A friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. Maybe Luke could help us. He's outside. He wants a radio to help keep an eye on the guards. Thank you. That's the plan I vote for. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? There was a girl back at Crawford that used church bells to send walkers all over the city. We just need something really loud. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw the controls. They're in Carver's office. She's right. It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just gotta get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. Why can't we do both? Even if we bring the herd to us, it's probably good for Luke to be able to tell us where they're coming from. You know what? Fine. I can get behind that. Okay, so we get that turd radio, he keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. And that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually... I do it all the time. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean, exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. Trust me. I've walked through herds before. It works. We figured that out. What? It's how we got out of the marsh house. Lee covered me, and... We walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Where the hell did she come from? We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then, just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Now or never, I guess. Ask my girl. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. Don't let go. I got you. They're the sharpest guards in the world, but they're no idiots either. They see you're not in your bunk, we're all done. Shit, he's coming back. 
I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. We're in trouble. About Reggie, huh? Yeah. You think Bill? Bullshit. You think we're ready? I think so. The homestead, at least. I'm not sure about the expansion. They're out there just moaning. That's what they do. It's driving me crazy. It's really unnerving. I know what you mean. You figure we'd be used to it by now. I wouldn't figure that. You never got used to a light buzzing or anything? A little different when it's dead human beings walking around? I'll give you that one. So what are you doing tomorrow? Bill wants me to start getting this bay door fixed. Is that while you're down there? Yep. What happened to it again? Troy backed into it when we brought the prisoners, the, the new people in. See, it's hard not to call them prisoners. Anyway, I'm looking at it had the materials before we started expanding. I don't know about you, but it seems like we really shouldn't be doing this yet. Should we just wait until we need more space to make more space? You can't be smoking back here. Vince, come on. Don't give me that. If Bill smells a whiff of smoke back here, he'll flip. What are you thinking? You know what? I'm just gonna tell him. I'm not letting someone else get blamed for this. That's bullshit. Vince! Vince, come on! Vince! Whew. You get him? Okay, jump down. I got you. We best get in bed. Troy will be back any minute. Well? You little devil. Everybody stay where you are. No need draw on suspicion. That was so cool. Thank you, Clem. I told you you probably wouldn't die. Nice job. I thought about Duck today. About his dumb little face. First things that come to mind are... Always the dumb things he was doing. Kid was always running in circles. Every damn place he went, he'd just run. He couldn't stop him. Makes it harder to remember he was a good boy. Well, long day tomorrow. One long day. <laughs>